close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to breathe in a way that feels good, because we're going to be looking for happiness inside. As for the happiness that's found outside, happiness that's measured in terms of material gain or status or praise, physical pleasures. That's a zero-sum game. You gain, other people lose. And sometimes it's a negative-sum game. In other words, the things that you do in order to gain material gain or status or, or praise may not be good karma. And the other side engages in something that's not good karma either, and, and both sides end up losing. That's why it's a negative-sum game. But with happiness inside, it's positive. Because the more happiness you're able to find inside, the more you're able to share with other people. When you take pleasure in generosity, other people benefit too. When you take pleasure in observing the precepts and having the sense of self-esteem and self-respect that comes from knowing that you won't stoop to unskillful means, other people benefit as well. The same as when you meditate. This is a gift to yourself and a gift to other people. The less greed, aversion, and delusion can have power over your mind, the less power they'll have over your thoughts and your words and your deeds. And so your, other people will be suffering less from your thoughts, words, and deeds. And at the same time, you set a good example. You show other people that it is possible to live in this life and not be so attached to things outside, and that you can have, have a sense of ease and well-being, peace and well-being even when things are not going well. And that's a good example for the world. I read of an old monk one time who said that even as you're sitting here with your eyes closed doing nothing, you're still shedding light. It's like a lamppost out on the side of the street. It doesn't move anywhere. It just sits there shedding light. But the people all around benefit. In the same way, when you meditate, you're exerting a good influence. You're putting more good energy into the world. So this is a positive sum game. If you're looking for happiness here, the happiness rises. If you look for happiness outside, your happiness goes away, it gets worn away. So be very careful about where you're looking for your true happiness in life. And it's normal that we're going to be looking for some pleasures outside, but we have to have a sense of moderation so that the way we look for those pleasures doesn't get in the way of training the mind. Because that's where the real, that's where the real gold is, inside the mind. The gold outside is false gold. It glitters for a bit, but then when you try to test it, it doesn't really last. But the gold inside is something that lasts for a, for a long, long time. 